so your friend today is not around. Chishi. Just come. Come. What's wrong? You come. You smell nice. Really? You do. Smell, you smell, really smell, do. Smell, smell, smell. I mean, it's nice, but that's not what I'm smelling. Hey. You first do like. <laughs> it actually is a very nice new dress. Really? Well done. Hey. Well done. I smell good. Eh? You smell good. The one good. what I have on. You smell good. Well done. Hey, I smell good. What, what do you put in my armpits? Uh, it, <laughs> it actually smells good. Have nice. you heard that joke? Uh -huh. This woman goes up to a bar and she tells this guy, mm, You smell good. What do you have on? Mm -hmm. He goes, Really? Yeah, you smell good. What do you have on? He says, I have a hat on, but I didn't know it smelled. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> anyway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> I paid for the drinks today. It's my change. You paid? Yep. They are paid for the drinks. Because Marcus is not here. It was his turn to pay for the drinks, but he's not here, so... So I've is that your change or is that what you're going to use to pay for the drinks? This is my change. <laughs> How much did you put in I put bag? enough. I put enough. Enough? Enough. <laughs> you, put, you put the world's number two most beautiful banknote there. Really? Yeah. You didn't know? The 10,000 Uganda shilling note is the second... No, I'm saying the one that you put at the bar. Hey. It's the second most beautiful note in the world. Did you know? You kid me not. Eh? A video came out yeah. rating the top five most beautiful notes in the world. Top? Five. Five. Yes. In most the world. beautiful bank notes. And in this the world. is one of them? The ZK. Oh, the Cabron Brown. Yes, the Brown Brown. Hey, the Cabron Brown. The Cabron Brown. The Brown Brown. Hey, hey this one. Mm -hmm. The one, one. the one with the gorilla. Yes, that's why we call it the Zike. The Zike, yes, yes, yes. So yes. this is the number two most beautiful banknote in the world. For real? Yeah. So the ranking was number five was the Norwegian krona. The krona. The, yes, the one from Norway. Uh huh. Number four mm. was the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar. Yes, uh -huh. it's very colorful. It's uh. it's very pretty. Okay, to me, pretty. it doesn't even look like real money. Uh -huh. yeah. Then number three. Was the GBP the British the British the British the British the British the Great British Pound? Yes. What would they call it? Great. You also call you, call yourselves the Great Ugandan Chile. <laughs> no one is stopping you. Uh huh. And then number uh, two is us, and the most beautiful in the world is the Swiss franc. The Swiss franc. Mm -hmm. But those guys, you know how their money is. People send their money to that side yes. for what? 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 For those banks. They're number one. We're number yeah, two. We're number really? Two. Congratulations. Congratulations, Uganda. So we have uh, this one, but uh -huh. our notes are not so so bad. I've got 10,000. The 20,000 has the the buffalo. Uh, it's very beautiful, red. But our money uh -huh. looks like Monopoly money sometimes. <laughs> it looks nice. Yeah. The 5K has the... Um, what monument is this? That, that monument. That is... Uh, uh, in memory of our glorious dead. Eh... Uh, and yeah, then at okay. the back has a some some, the some map. agricultural maps. But it's actually our money. Our money does not look bad. But why do you only carry small money? May I have ten thousand, fifty thousand, twenty because two K. You were going to buy. Five K. You were going to buy. One K. You were going to buy. Why ah. would I carry more money? <laughs> take, 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 him, take, my take, money. take your small money, Kale. <laughs> <laughs> let oh, me take never. let me take my second most beautiful currency in the world yes you well will be done. fine <laughs> but it's a good looking note man <laughs> but our neighbors hey. Well, hey finally it seems they have a solution who zim i heard about zimbabwe yeah. I, I mean i heard it in passing so i don't I know heard about zimbabwe but you know what honestly speaking mm. the, the the problem with zimbabwe and i, and I love zimbabwe oh, my, my zimbabwean people out there i love you very much but when it comes to the economy and the currency mm. they've had 25 years of crisis after crisis after crisis. It's been that bad for that long. Dude, 85% of transactions in, uh, in Zimbabwe use the US dollar. Yes, I remember the US dollar had to step in to help stuff. The guys were suffering. Imagine. Guys were suffering. <laughs> you buy something and then your change is a sweet, <laughs> a pen, <laughs> chocolates. <laughs> you know, I'm not making fun. This was an actual, like, that's how bad it was. Like, coins were worthless. So? You know, even here in Uganda, sometimes you go to a place and they say we don't have change and they want to give you a sweet. Yes. I'm like, are you mad? But that's not because our currency is doing badly. They no. just don't have they your don't change. They don't have change, yes, yes. But those guys, it was that bad. Do you remember there was a point where they were taking like wheelbarrows of money mm, to, mm, to mm. shop? At one point, it was so bad 
they had a note, mm. the value of 10 trillion Zimbabwe I've dollars. Seen. 10 trillion. I don't even know how to count. What comes after a billion? Is it a trillion? A trillion, yes. Then two trillion, then three tri 10 trillion. trillion. One note. That's how much their currency had done like this. And as of this year, their inflation rate was at 55%. Uh, Jesus In Christ. March. In March. Do you know once upon a time Uganda was doing that badly? We were. During all the civil wars and all of that, our economy had come to its knees. We were, were that bad. You were in primary school. I, I heard the stories. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the stories. No. I, I, think, I think you lived that I wasn't, shit. I wasn't bonded yet. Nah, you lived it. You lived it. But now in Zimbabwe, I think they're pegging, or they've come up with a new currency. Mm -hmm. They're pegging it to the gold reserve. Oh. So what you have is now gold, because gold is one of those, uh, what do they call it? Gold is something that never, it never loses value. Mm. So they're pegging. It's relatively stable. It's stable. So they're so. pegging the Zimbabwe dollar okay. to the gold, and they're calling it the Zimbabwe gold. Zig. Zig. Z-I-G. Cool, eh? Uh -huh. That's dope. The Zig. That's dope. You got a zig? So how much is how much is a beer? Five zigs. Five zigs. <laughs> Guys, like like what, what what's the um what's the denomination this time? Well, they're going back to ten trillion I zigs. I don't know, but I think they're going to have notes from one hundred from one from one to two hundred. Okay. From one to two hundred. One one zig to two hundred zigs. Okay. That's going to be the highest uh, okay. uh, value that they have. But that's pretty cool if you think about it. Oh, well done. I mean, after twenty five years, let's hope that this is the thing that will actually. <laughs> Work out. Because <laughs> 25 years is a long ah, time la, to la, be la, in the la, trenches. La, la, it's a la, long time. La, 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 la. 25 years. 25 years. But you know, the, the currency which I really like is the one from Dubai, where they had recently this rain, uh, Dubai, where they had the flooding recently. Eh, Very Dura. recently, the, the, the thing was flooding. You saw eh. the Durham. Eh. Their note is almost like plastic, almost. It's not it even paper, has, paper. It even has a see through kind of. It has of like a window. Boss. So fancy. It's like them, by the way. Their names are like them. <laughs> Dubai. Dubai is so. But those guys have money. You saw that video of the prince who was walking out of a hotel. Mm. Then a little boy tapped him. And said what? And the boy said, he said, What do you want? Anything you want. And he said, I want a Mercedes Benz. And the guy's like, Okay. Tapped his guys, told them. Hey. Was it a few days later that a kid received a Mercedes Benz? I'm going to Dubai. And we also tap a prince and be like, mm. may I also want the house. I want <laughs> <laughs> but I think if I tapped him, I'll be like, I want to be your second wife. Boss, even if I'm your concubine. <laughs> <laughs> even, if, even if you hide me somewhere, put, me, okay. put me on the payroll. Put me on the payroll. Things. Man. Dime is a dime. A dime is a dime. Never nange. Tell us, tell us. I thought Uganda had corruption. I thought Uganda had thieves. But we do. Over what? Yes, 50 we do. billion GDP. Ten, 10 buys stolen. Uh -huh. There is, which country is it? A woman has been sentenced to death. Did you hear that story? Yes. The, the, uh, the Vietnamese property developer. You people, you think you have stolen money. In Vietnam, a woman stole how much? 44. 44? Not million. Not 2 million. Billion, forty-four billion dollars. Forty-four billion dollars. A real estate developer, no? Uh, yeah. My long, my lang, my ling. Strong, my lang. Strong, my lang. Yeah. Eh. But what kills me? Eh? The balls on that chick. Me now, she's sixty-seven, and she's been doing this for eleven years. So for eleven years, she's been using shell companies. She's been bribing officials. <laughs> She's been what she defrauded banks out of a total of 44 billion. And I, have, I even have a feeling that's not the actual figure. That is what they know of. I have a strong feeling. And of that 44 that. billion, only 27 billion, they're saying they can't recover. So more than half is not coming. <laughs> more than half is not coming. But you back. know, this is when you say crime doesn't pay. Mm. She's now facing the what? A death penalty. Death penalty. Those guys don't play. We're going to take your life. I mean, what else, what else can you take from her? You're going to put her in prison. 
She has enjoyed her life. She probably owns the prison. She probably owns the prison. <laughs> She's probably going to get like an executive suite no, in the prison with what? a jacuzzi, a spa, what, what, what? She's going to enjoy her life even in prison. So they're like, you know what? You've taken so much. Please live the life of this earth. You know, you reap what you sow. Mm. You reap what you sow. Now she's been... God, but, but 44 billion. 44 billion is a lot of money. What would you do with 40 billion? 40, even one, one million dollars. I would... As far as you're all concerned, I would stop existing. I would, I would not be a person who would, is there I would, I wouldn't even talk to you. I swear. As who? As why? As I when? Pass you. <laughs> hey! I pass you. Because you just know that anyone in your life is going to ask for a dime. But you never know who your real friends are when you have that kind that of money. That is the problem. That is why I'm saying me as me, I would disappear from the face of the earth. I'd probably go and live in Dubai with my fellow billionaires where we domesticate jaguars and have them in our cars. <laughs>where we what <laughs> where we buy boats just because why where you, we why did, why, why did you go to the Comor Co comoros 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 you know comoros yes the comoros islands the comoros islands why would you want to go there why would i want to go there there you can you don't if you're in, if you're imprisoned in comoros uh -huh. you can walk out of the prison just walk out like this <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> a total of about 38 prisoners mm. walk up and just walked out of the prison. Like they are sent they to just, an end there? No, no, they walked out. The doors were open, they just walked out. What? That's where the woman from Vietnam should go. That's to where she should be jailed. <laughs> That's where she should be jailed. But apparently this has happened before. Uh, there was a game between Comoros and Kenya, mm, a football yes, game. Yes, yes, yes. And, and they beat Kenya. And they beat Kenya, and then yes. the celebration was taken. These guys just walked out. But wait, this guy yeah. had a story. That's their main prison. That's their main prison in Comoros. That's their Luzira. <laughs> Can you imagine? You guys are just waking up and... <laughs> but there had to be some kind of collusion. It has to be. Somebody it working with be. the guards, you know, give him Kitu Kidogo. He is. And... So he's like, okay, at, at 6 a.m. I'm going to open the gates for 15 minutes. Can you imagine Luzira like that? Others already help them like break a window, help them like... <laughs> break a window? <laughs> Open the door. And you walk out. And this is not the first time. Nope. So, when you're thinking about taking money, I think go about, to the Comoros Islands. I go to Comoros Islands. You can walk out with your and money. Say you arrest me from you here. You arrest me from here. <laughs> I'll bust. Hey. In the meantime, be smelling my armpit. It smells good, eh? But it actually does smell good. <laughs> and you really, you? you really smelled it. Yes. Hey, you want me to turn around and say, no, because it's an it smells bad. Let me tell you something, Gaetano. Let me thank you, but you and Marcus, what? and our uh, gentlemen of Globe Tech. You people, and Anna Marie, Anna -Marie you thank have you. a very funny fetish. Thank you for not smelling bad. No one, <laughs> no one on this set ever smells bad. I've never passed by any of you, and it's funny. You all smell good. Thank you. Thank you so much. But you actually, your armpit actually smells very nice. What is it and I go home and I buy it for myself? No, you just keep smelling. <laughs>